Well, guys, this is the uh, first Christmas song that I've heard of the season. Good morning. It is a damp, moist morning. There's that word again, moist. I'm headed to um, get Liquid Life, pick up a fuel pump, go to a job, install said fuel pump. Now, this fuel pump is one that is in a gas tank. The gas tank has to be removed, and if I remember correctly, there's about a half a tank of fuel in this gas tank, so it's gonna weigh like 100 something pounds. And it's not supposed to rain today, but like I said, it's moist outside. It's just damp and kind of dreary. So I hope I don't get too wet. I've got cardboard with me. I've got a second jacket with me. I think I'm prepared. I think I got the whole Boy Scout thing going on. Be prepared. Okay, I had to film some of this. I'm like right in the middle, hot and heavy. I'm hot and heavy in the middle of this. Um, but I wanted to film it because uh, it just shows you guys, again, what I do every day, especially after I've been under the weather for the last few days. This isn't exactly what I wanted to do today, but it's what has to be done. Okay, so I've jacked this car up right here. got jack stands so I don't get squished. Lowered the exhaust. This right here is the fuel tank right here. This fuel tank is now being supported by the jack. I have it all disconnected. I have to lower the fuel tank, pull out the fuel pump, and then put the new fuel pump back in and put everything back together. There's lots of up and downs in this line of work when you're laying on the ground. And the weather today, can you see that? It's very moist. I've already said this, I know. Oh, look at the pretty tree. But um, I'm just hoping that I can get this done before any signs of precipitation show up. Oh, and I gotta pee. Oh. Balls. And about five or six minutes later, here's what we got. Fuel pump is right here. This still has to come off, but this is your fuel tank. This is what holds all the gas that makes your car go-go. <laughs> A while later, and she has life breathed back into her once again. Listen to that. It's all hot and heavy for you. <laughs> be prepared to be grossed out. I don't know why the like cosmically the universe is trying to like just be disgusting at me for some reason. I don't know. Okay, today I had a customer drool on a work order. I'm not joking. Uh, granted, this customer um Nice, nice couple. I don't, I don't want to say anything derogatory about the couple or anything. Um, uh, very nice couple. Uh, the gentleman isn't, uh, isn't all there, mental capacity, so. But still, he drooled on my work order. I thought it hit the floor, and I didn't realize it until I got the work order back. He moved his hand, and I looked at it, and the pen had just rolled into it. <laughs> so I wiped everything up with a little napkin and uh, sanitized my pen, and all is good in the world. The work order dried, and they get the top copy, so I don't even have it anymore, so that's that's also a good thing. Okay, here we go, on with the day. Hopefully nobody's going to drool on me. Well guys, this is the uh, first Christmas song that I have heard of the season. It's on the radio, so, uh, huh. I guess it's that <laughs> I guess it's that time again. Wow! Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Oh my goodness, I think I went the wrong way. Oh boy. And see, this is why I GPS even though I know where I'm going. Because they can usually tell you, hey, don't go this way. There's lots of cars and you're gonna get there slower. So I'm gonna hurry up and try and do this. Oh now that everything's moving, watch. Come on, GPS, hurry up, boot up, come on phone. My slow phone. There we go. There we go. I'm working her. I'm giving her. My phone's not, but I am. I'm giving her. There we go. Home. 13 minutes. Start. It's still telling me I'm on the quickest path, I think. I think. I think. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Wow, 
Wow, my phone is slow. In 400 feet, turn right onto the Washington 512 West ramp to I-5 West, Parkland. You guys heard her. Parkland. That's where I'm headed. Whew, what a day. Hi. Just so that nobody can't... Just so that nobody can't say... Just so that nobody can say that Buffy wasn't in the vlog today. There we go. I said it right. There she is. Hi. Hi, girl. Hi, baby. How are you doing? It's been a boring day for you, huh? Oh, thank you. I really wanted that. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, here we go. COC, it is time for I'm going to put you guys here and kind of get you all situated. And I'm going to take the hair and make it all go over there. Thank you guys so much for the ones that watched the whole vlog yesterday for posting the secret comment that I asked you guys to post. I appreciate that. That's really awesome. I know who's paying attention now. Um, first comment of the night was Halloween Fur. You say, first and first like, and I hear you. Bren, I hear you, and what happened to the question of the day? Nicole Flynn answered, and she's right. That's something that Troy did for Halloween. Yeah, that was kind of just something that I was doing for Halloween, but I might still do something like that if you guys are interested in having stuff like that done. In fact, uh, um, somebody mentioned something here in a second about it. Sienna Services, hey Troy, hope you feel better today. Um, that's great news. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you. And you say that you hear me too. <laughs> uh, Papa Rob, like number 16, view number 60, comment number 10. So I'll just have to guess what you said as I did not hear you from the video. Dude, you live like 1900 miles from me, lol. Oh, by the way, Papa Rob, hi. It's good to hear from you again. I also do a very good forest, but it's better when I do it while dressed as Santa. A Santa forest. Huh. I said ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Mama always said ho, ho, ho. But I like to say ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I can't imagine how that would go. Uh, no videos or will there ever be. Later, all four of you stay safe, dry, and warm. Four, th this is what I don't understand. Four is the pups and you and A, you and Angie gone back to my hospital you're going back to your hospital bed yet again are you okay um nicole flynn i hear you sad i hope you feel better angie and i have another fun idea here oh you were the one that mentioned it you should do the would you rather questions at the end of coc just to see who watches all the way to the end that might be kind of interesting so post it down in the comments a secret thing for today do you guys want me to do like a question of the day or a would you rather question would you guys be interested in participating in that Jules, hey there, getting caught up. Had to say I was laughing at your comment, Super Troy, about beating the sickness, but then Angie said she'd grab you by the balls. I busted out laughing out loud, and yes, The Walking Dead, diehard fans, so we still watch all the time, although Tony would probably happily stop watching it. I heard the story of Daylight Savings Time being due to the war as well, Mr. Broad's story, so hopefully we can all follow Arizona and Hawaii soon and put an end to it. Uh, thanks for always giving us great vlogs. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. Andrew Wright, I hear and see you. That doesn't sound creepy. <laughs> no, not at all. You can see me right now. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Uh, Chris Crouchman, just kidding. Chris Crouchman, I hear you from the future. Did you hear me? Yes, I did. Misty Head, I hear you loud and clear. I also should never have said anything about immu immunity because I came down with an upper respiratory infection on Monday. It's been not terrible, no worries. Just makes me tired and sort of hard to teach or talk to teach. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Because just the day before that I said to myself that I hadn't been sick in a long time, the next day I get it. Crazy. Aloha, aloha Lara. Matt and I hope you and Angie feel better quickly. Well, thank you very much. Murray Mitchell, when the floor is stuck that bad, you might want to try a heat gun. Aren't renovations fun? <laughs> yes, so much. Uh, the one and only Lindsay Bird, I hear you, and I'm doing better now. Woohoo, awesome, good to hear it. Carrie 3601, I hear you, and I hope everything, or excuse me, everyone gets feeling better. Thank you. And the final comment of the night, Tim Francis heard you as well. If I have access to AMC, or if you have access to AMC, you could have seen the fruits of your labor tonight. I have access to YouTube, and that's the fruits of my labor. I'm not sure I follow that, but okay. Happy haunting, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm not sure if this is a short vlog or not, but it is what it is, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Brian Head from Georgia, and you've been watching Beyond 1031, and Troy... This is bamboo.